When should you incorporate your business? I recommend that you don't wait to incorporate for the following reasons. First, if your company is going to raise money, you need to have a legal structure in place so that you can receive the investment financing uh, from the investors. A corporation allows you to do this. The corporation receives the investment financing from the investors, and in exchange for the money received, the corporation issues shares to the investors, and these shares represent the ownership positions that the investors initially will have in your company. Also, if you have a team of founders coming together, the corporation helps to define the roles and responsibilities and also the ownership stakes of the founding team. So in other words, it helps determine who's going to be on the board of directors, who are going to be the officers of the corporation and, and what positions are they going to hold. Um, it also provides the opportunity to set up uh, stock repurchase uh, mechanisms so that uh, the founders will will row the boat together and, 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 and contribute to the company um, as initially planned. So that if one of the founders decides to leave the company and, and to stop contributing to the advancement of the company, there are contractual uh, structures in place so that the company can buy back some or all of the shares that that departing founder originally received. Also, by setting up a corporation, you, pr you prevent the, the situation of the forgotten founder. So imagine five founders coming together, and before you incorporate, uh, one of the founders decides to leave. Well, that founder may take some of the IP. It may, it may decide to uh, use the, uh, the business plan and set up a competing company or, or use the business plan or intellectual property for some other purpose. And without having this formal... Uh, legal structure in place, such as a corporation, there may not be too much that the other founders uh, can do about the this forgotten founder that decides to to leave the company. Also, if your company is is going to create valuable intellectual property, setting up a corporation allows the company to capture and collect the intellectual property and, and trade secrets and the the secret sauce, what the, that valuable stuff of your company, both at the startup stage where the founders assign all of the IP and the business plan into the company and also as the company advances. So related to that, um, if your company is going to hire employees and consultants, uh, the corporation should be the legal person or the entity that's hiring and firing people. You individually and personally should not be on the hook for that. Uh, so imagine a, a, an employment relationship that goes sideways. It's much better to have the corporation with its insurance handling that situation rather than you uh, individually and personally being on the hook for um, any fallout from, that, from that, that employment relationship. Also, similar to the point raised about intellectual property, uh, by setting up a corporation, the corporation can enter into contractual relationships with the employees and consultants uh, proprietary information and invention assignment agreements, for example, where the employees and consultants agree to assign the inventions and the trade secrets and the other um, IP that's created back into the company. And by collecting and, and capturing the, those inventions and intellectual property, the value of the, of, the, of the corporation will increase over time. Also, related to employees and consultants, if the company needs to set up equity or stock incentives in order to attract the proper talent to, to the corporation, um, you need to have a corporation set up in order to do so. So many startups don't have sufficient cash and they need to, to supplement the cash by offering uh, employees and, and consultants extra equity incentives. And so if, if you have a plan to uh, provide those equity incentives to employees and, and, and consultants and other folks, then you need to uh, set up a corporation. Also, with a corporation, um, the corporation uh, can be the, the party that enters into important third-party relationships, be it a landlord or a supplier, supplier or vendor or customer. Um, you want to have the corporation as, as, the, as the legal entity that, that's entering into those relationships um, in large part so that you can limit the personal liability of of yourself and the other stockholders so that um, if something goes wrong the corporation is standing there um, and has to deal with that issue and you will not be personally liable for related business uh, expenses and, and other uh, liabilities that may result. And also one last financial note by starting your 
your your corporation early on and setting it up, um, you will receive stock in the corporation sooner rather than later. And the important point about this is that the capital uh, gains clock starts to run as soon as you receive the stock. And both for capital gains treatment and also um, if, if it applies qualified small business stock treatment, um, when you sell the stock down the road, either in an individual stock sale or as part of the sale of the, the entire company, by receiving the stock early on and making sure that you hold it for the, the necessary periods, you'll get a much better financial return upon the sale of the stock. So for these important reasons, I recommend that you don't wait to incorporate, set up that corporation, and, and start moving ahead with your business. Thank you.